Let's draw a Venn diagram representing the complement A intersect complement B. So again, we have A complement, which is not A, intersect B complement, or what's not in B. So uh, let's draw our universal set. And set A, set B, and we'll label our A and B. And also we can number our spots. And again, the numbering really doesn't matter. You could put, I could have one, two, three. Uh, you, you can number it differently. Uh, you'll still shade the correct area. All right, so again, we're going to draw a Venn diagram, and we're going to shade the area that represents uh, A complement intersect B complement. So first of all, I need to know what is a complement. So let's find a complement. So that's going to be everything not in A. So there's A. So what's not in A, it looks like 1 and 4 are not in A. So 1, 4. And that's going to intersect with B complement. So I need to know what is B complement. Well, that's everything not in B, so there's my B. So what's not in B is 2 and 1. 2 and 1, or 1 and 2. Again, you remember, order doesn't matter when we're setting our sets up. Um, so what do they have in common? That's where, where are they intersecting? And that looks like 1 is, is where A complement intersects B complement. So let's go ahead and shade that area. So, okay, so let's shade in every, where the one is, that region. And so this is what A complement intersect B complement uh, will look like or be represented like by a Venn diagram.